Oh, good morning, students. So uh, yesterday we have seen some properties uh, of quadrilateral and some question based on that properties. Now today uh, we we will try to do some more question based on these properties, uh, but up to our next level. Okay, let's see. Uh, start with the <coughs> first one. I hope you are doing the uh, NCRT exercises at your home properly so that you can learn it better. Early. Okay, <clears throat> let's see uh, some more questions from the second exercise. <clears throat> so, let's have a look of a theorem, okay, which is called a midpoint theorem. So, let's learn that, the midpoint theorem. What is the midpoint theorem? First, understand that. Okay. <clears throat> midpoint theorem says the line drawn through the midpoint of one side of triangle parallel to the other side bisect the third side. Okay, this is the statement for the midpoint theorem. The line drawn, line drawn. From the midpoint of a side, from the midpoint of a side, of a side <coughs> parallel to the other, to the other, bisect the third, bisect the third. Okay. The meaning of that statement is. Let us see with the help of a diagram. Suppose this is a triangle ABC and D is the midpoint of the side AD. Okay, now we will draw a mid parallel line through it parallel to BC. It bisects the other side AC also. So we need to show that this AE and EC part. Is it? So what is given to us? Given to us is the triangle ABC. D is midpoint of AB, and BE is parallel to BC. That is given to us. What we need to prove is we need to prove that E is midpoint of AC or AE is equal. Is that we need to do. Now see the proof. For see the for the proof, what we need to do is we just need to draw a, another parallel line <coughs> through C to AB. So what we are doing here, we are just making a, another parallel line to AC, AB. Okay. So I am giving it again. See that. Okay. So by construction. By construction, we draw CF parallel to AB. Okay? <coughs> Which meeting the line DE extending at F. Okay, let's see the proof now. Okay, I will try to do it here so that you can understand it very clearly. Let's see now. Here we can write since DF is parallel to BC and CF is parallel to this BD. Okay, so we can say this two of the lines are parallel so that it will make a parallel graph. So therefore we can say that this DBCF is parallel graph. First of all. Okay? So this will become a parallel graph now. Okay, this goal will become a parallel graph. Okay. Now see, <coughs> actually what we need to prove is how we are uh, going through that proof. That is very important. Okay. So now we are using <coughs> what we are seeing here. So first of all, since D is the midpoint, it is already shown that A B is equal to D B. And since this will become parallel graph and D B C F will be equal. Okay, because of that parallelogram property. So, this 
AD and CF becomes equal. So now we are comparing this to triangles. Okay. What we need to show, show is, we need to show this AD and EC equal. So what we are doing here is, we are taking triangles, this two AD in triangle AD and triangle ECF. Okay, let's compare this. Okay. Now, in AD, this AD is equal to FC. We are using this AD equal to FC. The first property by result 1. By result 1. Another thing is this particular opposite angle, angle AED, that is equal to the angle CEF. Since you all know that this is vertical opposite angle, those lines are intersecting. Okay, the third thing is this angle also equal. Why is it so? Because these two are the parallel lines and this is the transverse. Yes, they are alternate interior angle. So I can I uh, am writing it here. Okay, since this angle D A E is equal to the angle E C F by alternate interior angle. Now as you can see, these two angles on the side are equal. So by this A A S congruency rule, congruency criterion, we can say this both the triangles are congruent. So this congruent triangle AED is congruent to AED is congruent to CEF. Why is it CEF? Because this A angle is equal to C, this E angle is equal to that E. Okay? And likewise. So these triangles are congruent. So we can say this side AE and EC are equal by CPCT. So this is the proof which is which says in that line which is drawn parallel to the side of a triangle originated from a midpoint of other side to bisect the third side. So this is the proof of the midpoint theorem. The only thing you have to remind about the midpoint theorem that you need to do construction to prove it. Okay? In 10th class, there is another concept by which we can prove it, but in 9th, we need to prove it like that only. Okay, so this is the <coughs> concept of midpoint theorem. Remember the statement, don't forget. Okay, now let's see a few examples based on this midpoint theorem. Okay, see that's the midpoint theorem, say, will be like parallel drop. Okay. So now let's see this uh, uh, concept with the quadrilateral so that you can understand it very clearly. Now ABCD is a trapezium in which AB is parallel to DC and BD is a diagonal and E is the midpoint of AD. Let's see first what is given to us. This is the second question. A trapezium given to us. Okay. A, B, C, D. So, A, B, C, D. I am taking it. Okay. In which B, D is the diagonal. Okay, so I made a B, D diagonal. Now, let's say A, B is parallel to B, C, and E is the midpoint of A, D. Now, E is the midpoint of A, D. Okay, and here two sides are parallel, so that uh, A, B is parallel to B, C. Sorry that A B is given here. Okay. So e D. And in A D there is a midpoint E and the diagonal which is given to us is E D. This is the diagonal. Okay. Now let's see. <coughs> it says a line through uh, drawn through E parallel to A D intersecting B C and F. So that F is the midpoint. So again, what we are doing here, we are just draw a parallel line to AB, which is parallel to CD as well, and here it fit with BC at F. So we need to show that 
F is the midpoint of BC. Let's see what is given to us. Given in trapezium, yeah. ABCD, AB is parallel to DC. Okay, E is midpoint of AB. Okay, what we need to prove is <coughs> prove that. And here one more thing that uh, E F is parallel to AB. What we need to prove is F is midpoint of BC. So now you don't need to prove it again. What we are doing here is we can take the reference of the midpoint theorem and through that we can prove that F is the midpoint of BC. So what we are doing here, we are, I am marking the point P here which is intersecting BD and P. So I am writing here that EF intersect intersect BD and P. So now remember <coughs> that midpoint theorem can be applicable in a triangle only. The line drawn uh, from a midpoint of a side parallel with the other bisect the third. This was the statement. So I am taking a triangle DAB. So in triangle DAB E is the midpoint of AB, AD. Okay, and EP is parallel to AB. Why uh, calling EP? Because EP line is in the triangle. Okay, we can't say EF. EF is out of the triangle. So we are uh, calling this part of the line <coughs> which is also parallel to AB. <coughs> so from the midpoint parallel and bisecting the third. So by midpoint theorem we can say by midpoint theorem we can tell or we can say that P is the midpoint of midpoint of BD so that PB is equals to PD okay <coughs> now P becomes the midpoint of the line BD so now we are taking the other triangle BCD so now in triangle BCD P is midpoint of BD and with that this PF is parallel to CD. Now why is it so? Because ABCD is parallel given and AB is parallel to that part of line here. So if since it is parallel to here, so that part of that line is also equal to that. So this happens here is parallel to CD. Again by midpoint theorem, we are taking difference. Again by midpoint theorem, what we can tell is that F is midpoint of BC. Okay? This F becomes midpoint of BC and that we need to do that BF and FC are equal. This is hence true. So with the help of that midpoint theorem, we can say in a quadrilateral also or in a trapezium also we can prove with the help of midpoint theorem that the line drawn from the midpoint of a line parallel with the other bisected the third. Okay? So this is the <coughs> actually use of the midpoint theorem. Okay, how we are using it. Okay. Now see some more different questions uh, of quadrilateral which you can understand Betterly, okay. Okay. Let's see one more question. In a parallelogram ABCD, E and F are the midpoints of the side AB and CD. Let's see. There's a parallelogram given to us. This is the third question. There is a parallelogram given to us. I'm making a parallelogram here. Okay. It named us ABCD, in which E and F are the midpoints. So ABCD is the uh, is our parallelogram and E and F are like this, the midpoints of A, B and C. Now we need to join A, F and C. So I am joining here A, F and C like this and there is a diagonal BD also which intersect these two joiners. 
terminals at joining lines at P and Q. So <coughs> my line is not meeting B. Why is it? I don't know. Sometimes it's actually hard to make a diagram on the board. It's easier to write it in copy, but hard to make it on board. Let's see now. <coughs> so what is our question is? The question is show that the segment AF and EC trisect diagonal BD. Okay. AF and C is trisecting DP diagonal. Means this DP, PQ and BQ we need to show equal. Okay. So what is given to us? First what is given to us? Just write. See it is very important to write what is given to us. Why is it so? Because when you want to understand the question, you need to understand what is given to us. What are the parts we have? Okay, the tools we have. So, ABCD is already given us is a parallelogram in which E and F are midpoints of sides AB and CD respectively. Respectively means AB, AB's midpoint is E and F is the midpoint of CD. What we need to prove, so we need to prove that that uh, DP, PQ and QV are equal part. Okay? That means this AF and EC tricep the diagonal B. So let's start the proof. Okay? Now see again. Here we again, uh, here we can again use the midpoint theorem, but in different contexts. Let's see that. Since you all know this E is the midpoint of side AB and F is the midpoint of side CB, and we have joined this to the midpoints as well. So again, we are going to take some triangles here. So first, I am taking the triangle. First of all, I need to show that this is the parallel and half, and since this is parallel and half, this will also parallel. Half. So what I am writing here is. AB is equal to CF and AE is in parallel to CF as well. Why is it so? The reason behind that that AB and CD are equal and parallel. Okay, so half of AB and half of CD because since this they are the midpoint, so their half also be equal. Okay, because the sides have been equal. So <coughs> These are equal parallel and the side, opposite side of a quadrilateral, opposite side of a quadrilateral, equal and parallel, equal and parallel. So it will become, so it is parallel. It is only happens in the parallel. Now. So that we can say that this AECF, therefore AECF is become a parallel now. Okay? So we declare that ACF is a parallel now. So what is meaning of that? The meaning of that is AF and CE also parallel Okay? So let's start with the diagram. So first I am taking this triangle CQD. So now in triangle CQD. Let's see that. In CQD, okay, CQD, F is the midpoint of CD. F is the midpoint of CD and with that PF is parallel to QC. Why is it so? Because now it is parallel now so the part of line will be parallel. So that's why PF is parallel to QC. So by a midpoint theorem, now we can apply here a midpoint theorem. So by midpoint theorem we can say P is the midpoint of DQ. P is midpoint of DQ. So P is the point of DQ means DP and PQ becomes equal. So half part of the question has been done. <coughs> okay, see it once more. First of all, we prove that this half of the lines are equal in parallel, so that it will become a parallelogram and see if they become parallel. We took a triangle to show that from the midpoint parallel line joins the midpoint. So by midpoint theorem, we can apply here, and that we came to that proof. Now, move on to the other proof. We are taking now this downside triangle. 
this is APB. So now in triangle APB, APB, in APB that P is the midpoint of AB and this EQ is parallel to this AB. Again the part of the parallel and again these are the parallel grounds opposite side. So if they are parallel, the part of the line will also be parallel. So this two lines are parallel, it generated or originated from a midpoint. So by again midpoint theorem, we can say <coughs> that Q is the midpoint of Q is the midpoint of P. And since it is midpoint, so PQ becomes equals to BQ. Okay, this is the result two. Now you can see result one and result two. Those two are those two, those two are. So that DP, PQ, and BQ both are equal. So by one and two, we can say <coughs> that BQ, PQ, and BP are equal to each other. And that's true that A and C, oh sorry, AF and C trisect the diagonal BD. So here is the right. We conclude that AF and CE trisect BD. This is the proof. So likewise you can do the proofs of the different questions. So here I am just ending this uh, chapter coordinated. Uh, in that chapter there is not, nothing much to do. There are only two exercises. Uh, the first exercise is based on the properties of the different quadrilateral and the second uh, exercise is based on this midpoint theorem concept. Okay, there is also a revert of this midpoint theorem which is called converse midpoint theorem. You can learn it from the NCRT itself, it is very easy to prove and very easy to use. But there are no much questions can be asked from this converse midpoint theorem. So that's why I am just concluding it with this midpoint theorem concept. So till then be safe and keep studying. Thank you and have a nice day.